Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back to do the kind of safe bracket, early lock bracket that mostly it's not really, most of them that I'm turning in are not early lock. I just won't see the people on Thursday, so I can't give them the bracket on Thursday. Um, do a lot of paper brackets still, um, more than the online ones. I think I'm only in a couple onlines. Uh, I prefer the paper ones anyway. Um, just feels more nostalgic. I don't know. I've been doing the paper ones my entire life, so I just I just like the paper ones more. But let's get into this. There's a lot of relatively the same type of thing. So Virginia and Creighton, we've gone mostly over what my thoughts are on those. Um, in this bracket, um, I still am going to take Davidson. Not kind of my favorite pick, but I I, I really think if they could shoot the three like they did in the turn in their conference tournament, they'll beat Kentucky. Uh, in this one, I'm going to take Miami over Loyola, Illinois, because um, I'll fight that one the rest of the week, um, and just for the sake of kind of ease of ease of how it goes, I uh, I'm just gonna go with Miami. Uh, down here with the uncertainty with Mo Bamba, I'm gonna take Nevada. I think Nevada can still win um, even if Mo Bamba plays, uh, and if he's out, it's just a huge boost to me. Um, Cincinnati over Nevada, staying chalk here. Let's just get that straight. Staying chalk here, Virginia, Arizona, Tennessee, Cincinnati. Staying pretty chalk there, and then we'll stay chalk relative to like my original bracket. I know I took Tennessee in the most recent bracket, but we're gonna take Cincinnati. Uh, I'll probably end up not being uh, ballsy enough to take Tennessee. I'll probably end up going with Cincinnati. Um, I don't know. I'll have to wrestle with that more, look into Tennessee a little bit more, and look into Cincinnati a little bit more than I already have. See if I can come up with uh, a better dissection of that game than I have currently. So we'll stop with the Elite Eight uh, as we normally do, and we'll head to the uh, we'll head to the West. Taking Xavier in Missouri, pretty much same thing. Michael Porter. I think with the extra week, I think he'll be uh, I think he'll be ready to go. I think Mizzou, Conzo Martin will have him ready to go. Uh, Xavier uh, against Missouri should be a fun one. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to end up with Missouri advancing. Uh, I still think that's still what I'm hearing, um, but I'm still taking Xavier. Uh, moving down, Ohio State and the Zags. Going to go ahead and take both the the favorites there. Uh, I like Ohio State then to pick up the win against the Zags and move on to the Sweet 16. I think that's a very, very, very contrarian pick from me to take Ohio State. I think Gonzaga is pretty much the chalk. And I think San Diego State is the extreme kind of... They're getting a lot of traction. Um, maybe I'm going to end up looking like an idiot with Ohio State in the Sweet 16. But I, I, I think Kata Bates, Diop... Um, I just I just think Ohio State's good enough to get it done. And then I think they're good enough to beat Gonzaga. It's one of those games where I'm like, well, I might just end up looking stupid. And it might just be easier to take Gonzaga. But... I like Ohio State to get it done. I just do. Moving on, we got Ohio State and Michigan. Or not Ohio State. We got Houston and Michigan. I like I like Michigan to get it done. I like Houston to beat San Diego State. San Diego State, another team that's getting a lot of traction. But uh, I think Rob Gray and Houston bounce back from the the uh, American Athletic Championship kind of kind of disaster they had. Um, and I think they get it done. Uh, I like Ed Cooley in Providence, and I like North Carolina still. Uh, so we'll have North Carolina and Michigan advance to the Sweet 16, along with Xavier and Ohio State. You guys already know how this is going to go. With the safety of this bracket, I'm going to go ahead and take Michigan uh, to face Xavier. Um, they're my strong lead. Michigan is my strong lead to beat North Carolina. Um, this bracket could go up in flames fairly early. I mean, I, I do really like my bracket. I feel I feel pretty good about about, about it. Uh, but it could go up in flames real early, real easy. Missouri could beat Xavier. Houston can beat Michigan. Uh, Kentucky can beat Arizona. Maybe Arizona comes out and they just don't give a shit. Like, there's a chance Arizona just doesn't care. And, and they just want to, they want out Trier and Dayton and Aiton want to go to the, NF, or the NBA. Miller wants to find a new college program. I mean, there's a chance they just want out. But uh, I'm not banking. I, I feel like they've got enough pride they want to come out here and, uh, and do big things. Uh, so moving on to the East, we've got Villanova. Still like, still like Vatek, like West Virginia, and I like Marshall. Still, I like Elmore. The more and more I look at Elmore, I just, I, I just see a guy who can take over a game and get it done. 
And uh, I believe they play, yeah, they play the early game. So this is something that uh, I haven't talked about in any other videos. I'll probably talk about it in the, for in the formal Wednesday video. But the earlier these games and the later these games, early in the day, especially, is this the Tuesday, is this Thursday game? Makes me love this even more if it's Thursday. I believe, no, this that is the uh, Friday game. But early in the day, it's hard to get the people there. They're a lot more empty. There's not Wichita fans there. There may be some hardcore Marshall fans there, maybe about even. There's not a lot of neutral fans there that are just into the game. There's nothing to feed off of. Marshall, these, these mid-major schools are, are, are more used to not having a large crowd backing them. Uh, Marshall's kind of a a sports school ish. They they have a decent football team. I mean they have a they have a sports culture there. But uh, I think I I think early er, this is when you get hit early in the day. I think Marshall and Elmore come out sucker punch them in the mouth. Wichita State comes storming back, but is just unable to complete the comeback. I love Florida and Texas Tech, uh, Arkansas and Purdue. I mean this this is pretty chalk here. It's been relatively the same thing. Villanova, West Virginia, Texas Tech, Purdue. You guys know my thoughts on uh, Keenan Evans, and you know my thoughts on Villanova. So uh, there is that portion of the bracket. Then we have the Midwest, Kansas, Seton Hall. Um, yeah, that's pretty much been the chalk, I think, for my lineups the whole entire time. Uh, we'll come back to Clemson, that whole thing. So this is where... We'll go ahead and take the chalk that I've had. Oklahoma, Trey Young, like I said, I think they feel like they have something to prove. I think they come out here, they get the W. Uh, Duke, you guys know my opinions on Duke, and you know my opinions on Michigan State. I like Michigan State, don't love Michigan State. Without being able to see Arizona State, I'm only going to take them here. Um, because if Syracuse beats them, I think Syracuse still has a chance to beat TCU without Jalen Fisher. So I will take them there, but other than that, we're going to take Michigan State for the safety. Let it be known, I love Arizona State, and uh, I cannot wait to watch them tomorrow night. Um, what is it, like 9 o'clock tomorrow night or something like that? That's late tomorrow night. It's like 8.40, 9 o'clock. Um, it's a good thing I have nothing to do on. I'm getting up nice and early on Thursday, going out to breakfast with some friends. Then I'm coming home, setting up my four-monitor TV setup, and getting ready to watch the games. Um, since I probably won't be going out much... Um, uh, I thought I'd go grab some breakfast with some friends uh, Thursday morning. Uh, so we have the Michigan State Duke. So we'll go ahead. We'll move the chalk. Obviously, you guys know my chalk is Kansas Duke. It, this bracket is so easy for me, this section of the bracket, because it's Kansas. There's no one there, in my opinion, that can even touch Kansas. And there's no one down here. Michigan State can beat Duke. But other than that, it's pretty clear to me that Marvin Bagley is just going to be too much for anybody down here. So for... The purpose of safety, for the purpose of all of this, for the purpose of not exactly knowing what I want to do here yet, we're going to go, we're going to go the kind of meh route. So we're going to take Clemson to the Sweet 16. Um, it, it, I'm going to wrestle with this still because I don't have to turn in my bracket for another like three hours when I see some of the people out tonight. Um, so I'll wrestle with this, but as of right now, I'm going to advance Clemson just on the fact of safety. Um, kind of chalky. Uh, going for the gusto, I guess, is to stick with stick to my guns. You know what? Stick to the guns. We're sticking to the guns. New Mexico State, Sweet 16. I broke this down. I've said how much I love New Mexico State. I love the time they play. They play late at night. It's kind of one of those... Oh man, it's the last game of the the day. It's kind of real late, 9:57 start. I believe it's the final game of the day. I think it's the final game of the first round, right? Yeah, it's the final game of the first round. New Mexico State. So I have to I have to sweat it out. The final game of the final game of the round of 64. I have to sweat that bad boy out. But we're gonna take New Mexico State. Stick to my guns. It's kind of my test philosophy when I take tests in college. I was, I'm like. If I answer a question right, I'm not going back. It, it's either right or it's wrong. I'm not changing it. So uh, we're sticking with New Mexico State. So that leaves us Final Four. Like I said, this is pretty chalky to me. Um, there's not much that can get me off of Arizona, Villanova, Duke. Those are my three Final Four teams. There's not much getting it off, getting me off of those. 
Um, we'll go ahead and take Michigan. Like I said, I have the winner of the North Carolina-Michigan game in the Final Four. It's just a matter of who I take. And so then we go ahead and we lock in Villanova for the national championship. 82, or it was supposed to be 82-77. 82-77. So really what the changes here is we, we've got the Q-Arizona State game kind of, we, we, we dial that down a little bit here. Uh, we dialed back on the upsets a little bit. We took Nevada for the safety. Um, but other than that, it's, it's relatively similar to what uh, we were already doing. Um, I, I dialed back my Tennessee love a little bit. Um, just went a little bit safer uh, in a couple of spots. Um, I wasn't going to go safer here, but then I decided, you know what? We broke this down. I like New Mexico State. i got to stick to my guns. Uh, taking Auburn is probably... <laughs> Uh, a safer pick there um but uh no one ever run won their bracket pool be, being like ooh, I, I guess sometimes i guess you do went being uber safe but the last few years you probably didn't win it being uber safe but yeah guys that's gonna do it that's kind of the uh that's the what are we calling the the safe early lock bracket so i hope you guys enjoyed I'll be back with another bracket. Um, we still have to do the one based on betting odds for fun. We're going to do like a random 50-50 bracket. And we still have the final updates and stuff like that. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.